In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when your PlayStation controller battery will no longer hold a full charge. They say nothing lasts forever, and unfortunately, this is very true when it comes to PlayStation controllers like the DualShock 4 and even the PS5 DualSense. For many users, they begin to experience common issues over time, with the main culprit being the analog sticks. But for those who are lucky enough to have their controller last a long time, the problem ends up being something totally different, and that's the battery. At some point, you may begin to notice that your PlayStation controller battery doesn't last last quite as long as it used to, and a full charge doesn't seem like a full charge anymore. You might find yourself charging your controller more frequently, or even just leaving the controller plugged in during longer play sessions. And for some cases, the battery may no longer charge at all. These are all signs that your PlayStation controller battery won't last much longer. The lithium-ion battery inside your controller is estimated to last at a minimum three years, but your mileage may vary depending on use and charging habits. Luckily, if you do experience this problem, the solution is actually very simple. For about $10, you can get a replacement battery and change it out yourself. And best of all, it's actually really easy to do on a PS5 DualSense controller. First, make sure your PS5 controller is powered off and disconnected from the console. Remove the faceplate trim from the controller by lifting up on both ends of the controller handles. This will unclip the faceplate trim and allow it to be easily removed from the controller. The next step is to remove both the L1 and R1 buttons. This part is kind of tricky because you literally need to pry off the buttons with a decent amount of force. But once removed, locate the screws behind the L1 and R1 R1 buttons and unscrew them from the controller. Then locate the screws securing the bottom ends of both handles and unscrew them from the controller as well. You want to then unclip the two clips on either side of the headset jack. And at this point, you can easily remove the back end of the DualSense controller. The next step is to disconnect the battery from the controller itself. I recommend doing this with a pair of tweezers if you can. But once disconnected, remove the battery from the controller and replace it with a new one. You want to make sure that the new battery is properly connected and secure, then reattach the back end of the controller. Remember to check that both clips are reconnected on either side of the headphone jack. Then add the screws to both sides of the DualSense handles and behind the L1 and R1 buttons. Lastly, reattach the faceplate trim as well as both buttons. And that's it, you have successfully replaced the battery and saved yourself a lot of money on a new controller. Now you know exactly what to do if your PlayStation controller battery will no longer hold a full charge. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week.